Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the, <laughs> and if you're new to the channel too, and want to hit the subscribe button, that would help me out immensely. It was a long day. Today was a great day. Not only a good start to the month, but to the week, and also to the rest of the year. Start from spacing, just kind of, kind of take in everything that happened today. But um, first things first, what I want to share with you guys is I'm in a really good mood because after about a year and four and a half months, I finally have worked my way up to my final promotion at my main job. I finally get to run my department and I'm incredibly stoked, ready for the new clientele, the new customer base. Your boy got a very hefty wage increase as well, which I'm forever grateful for. But it's not always about the money, it's really more about the experience, and I'm forever grateful too. So, we're also transitioning into the holiday period, which I wanna be as consistent as I can with YouTube and YouTube content, but I'm also trying to save up money to rebuild the Skylines motor. But a lot of good things are coming this way, and just thank you everybody so much for the continued loan support. Also, my Project Mew brake system overhaul kit, pads, rotors, lines, um, and some other stuff shipped out today as well. And not only did those ship out today, but we finally, finally received the Gretti aluminum radiator from R2 Japan. Thank you boys R2 Japan. Be sure to hit them up. And like I mentioned in my last video, the yen exchange rate is incredibly low right now. So do not sleep. Okay, time for a crisp unboxing. Right off the bat, some gritty goodies. We got um, some emblems and some instructions. Man, this gritty aluminum radiator is thick as that's a thick aluminum radiator. My God, my Koyo on my R32 Skyline isn't even this thick. Holy moly, but of superb quality. The polish is very nice. Came with not one, not two, but three boxes. A huge shout out to RGT Japan. And like I mentioned, we got some emblems. We're gonna put on the radiator. And then here's like the Part number. I went ahead and put on the Gretti emblems on the radiator and cap and it just looks that much cooler. So I got this radiator for I want to say 255 260 on sale USD with the current Japanese yen exchange rate. Again do not sleep. This is a 50 millimeter radiator so cooling efficient cooling, cooling efficiency is higher Better flow, it is OEM fan shroud compatible and will not, hopefully will not obstruct the fan itself. So we got all the OEM mounting holes. It has a, um, I think it's a 1.8 NTP, so I could run a um, secondary water temp sensor in there and just wire it all nice. Here down to the bottom right, we have the OEM cooling temp sensor location. And then down here we have our drain plug and the other hook for the OEM fan shroud location. Very happy with this. I could have saved like 60 to $80 if I would have just bought a Koyo N-Flow or N-Line, one of those two my buddy Rick was telling me about. But I would have to have had bought the cap separately and of course the radiator came with a high pressure and gritty cap. So very content with my purchase. Again, a huge shout out to RJ Japan for always, always, always taking care of me. All right, all right. So, got the radiator laid out. Before I install this, I'm going to put a flat piece of cardboard on the front side so we don't damage any of the fins. What you'll need from your stock radiator, I'm so glad I grabbed these yesterday before trash day, is the um, rubber grommet stopper. Mine are in pretty good shape. They're not too corroded, so I'm grateful for that. Took off the... Um, screw cap where the OEM temp sensor will be. It's going to be a 19 millimeter. And also for this bad boy here, we have some 
seal lock. Unfortunately, this is a 72 hour full strength cure time. So I'm not gonna take any chances and I'm going to let this cure for at least two days. Time sensor, seal plus lock. Let's kind of go ahead and give it a good, good bead. I don't know if you'd call that a beat on the oh shit, I'm messing up already. I'm messing up already. Guys, I'm incredibly tired. Like, I'm kind of glad I have to wait 72 hours to um, let this thing cure. Wow, I didn't get any of that on camera. It's all good. So, yeah. boom, here it is. Um, that'll be fine. And actually, it might be a little bit too much. That's okay. Oh shoot. Maybe it took a little bit too much off. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's going to work. Maybe. Can you guys tell how excited I am right now? Oh my goodness. Alright. Boom. Throw her in. Thread her nice. There she is. Okay. And very slowly, we're just going to. Make sure we get a nice full seal. Perfect. Now we let that girl cure for a good 72 hours, but we're gonna go ahead and install the fan shroud while we're here. Ready radiator is in, hose is all plugged up, all connectors reconnected. This thing is looking super saucy. I am incredibly stoked. Fan shroud, again, fits OEM. There is plenty of room for the fan to spin, no obstructions. I'm really happy about that. Clutch fan over E fan. Sweet, so um, now we just wait for the Thread lock to seal, cure, I'll give it like 24 hours. And then we'll go ahead and fill the Gretti aluminum radiator with the AMS oil heavy duty synthetic coolant. And I got two and a half gallons. So I'm hoping that will accommodate for the extra volume of fluid. Let it run again for a good 30, 45 minutes, pressurize it. Check the leaks, and once all said and done, just take it to the driveway and pull it back in. And hopefully, say, maybe Friday, maybe Saturday, our Project Mew brake system overhaul will be in. All right, so we got the Mark II elevated, got the radiator filled with almost three gallons of AMS oil synthetic coolant. This is all I have left in the funnel and this is what I got in the reservoir. So, per procedure, full heat, full blast, let it idle for a good 25, 30 minutes. We'll pressurize the system while it's still elevated and let that idle for a good five to 10 minutes and see where we're at. I might need to add a little bit more ATF in the cooler, but we will see when we get there. Good girl, started right up, no hesitation. Already getting some bubbles out. I double checked the torque specs on the fan and she's doing good. No weird noises and no leaks, thank God. So again, we'll go ahead and let this idle for a good 25, 30 minutes. 20 minutes later, she's doing good. Real good actually. Thirty minutes later, and I'm 100% confident that the coolant is bled out to the best of its abilities. Again, so again, we got the Gretti aluminum radiator that holds three gallons of coolant, which we're running AMS oil synthetic. We got the overflow reservoir full. In terms of temps, well, the top hose got hot. The bottom hose is a little warm. It's good. I know my temp sensor is good and is not leaking, so really happy about that. In terms of degrees when it was idling. I'm not too sure, but I can definitely tell it's running between five and six degrees cooler at idle. I did feel the 
automatic transmission lines. The upper one is warm and the bottom one is warm. Still need to bleed out the auto trans and that's just a matter of going through each gear one, two, three, and four and overdrive consistently and then reversing, point board reversing. Pretty easy procedures. The cabin is very warm, kind of uncomfortable, but winter is upon us and everything works. So a job well done. So again, a very successful job really didn't take that long and I cannot wait to drive the Mark II. We are this close to being able to daily drive the Mark II. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the Project Mew brake system overhaul kit should be arriving here this weekend. And if you've been following the channel since day one, we've done at least 27 brake jobs. Maybe not all recorded on channel, but there's definitely quite a bit. But I'm incredibly stoked. Again, this year has been rocky starting out, but now it is just a million times better. So I'm very grateful. But other than that guys, thank you so very much for your continuous love and support. And if you're new to the channel too, and wanna hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. And remember, aim high, drive low. We'll catch you next time. Take care.